Hey puzzlers, this is Steve here with another video on how to solve some logic puzzles. This one's known as a creek. How it works is you're going to be shading in some cells and leaving others white. The circles with the numbers in them represent how many adjacent cells must be shaded in. And lastly, all the white cells must be orthogonally connected to one another. So you wouldn't be able to have something like this where this white cell is isolated. And that's it for the rules. What I'm going to go ahead and do is try to solve this example puzzle for you guys to share some common tips and tricks along the way that will hopefully make it easier for you to solve this type of puzzle yourself in the future. Now I did pull this particular puzzle from a recently published puzzle book of mine on Amazon. I'll post a link in the description below. Would love it if you guys would check it out. And also if you want to try the puzzle out yourself first before seeing the solution, I'll post a link in the description below for that as well. So without further ado, let's get to solving. So where would I start? I'm going to start where there's any zeros or fours, because those are obviously going to be the easiest. So anytime you see a zero, you know all of the adjacent cells are going to be unshaded. And I'm going to use a dot as a marker so that I know that these are unshaded cells. So wherever there's a zero, you can put dots next to them and solve that. Uh, the fours, you know all of the cells next to the four are going to be shaded in. And I think those are all the uh, easy places to start. Now up here I notice with this one, it only sees two cells. We've already indicated which one's unshaded, so the other one must be shaded. This one here, we've already shaded in one cell, so the other three must be unshaded. And that solves this two. This two already has two unshaded cells, so the other two must be shaded in. This two is along a border, Anytime you have numbers along the border, those are going to be a little bit easier because they don't see a full four cells like the middle numbers do. They're only going to see two cells. Uh, so those are a little bit easier. Now, I noticed this white cell here. If we make this black, it's going to trap this one in. So just like in so many other logic puzzles, you want to make sure there's a path for it to escape and meet up with the rest of the group. So this one's going to be unshaded. Uh, this two, any two along an edge can automatically be filled in. Um, so these two, these two, those. And now this one is solved because we have one shaded cell already in the four adjacent squares. So we can fill those in as dots. Now this two is interesting. It's paired next to a one. So we know that these two can't be shaded in. It might satisfy the two clue, but it would break the one clue. So because we already know this one's unshaded and these two cannot be both shaded, this here needs to be shaded in. Otherwise, it would be a broken clue. So this is a shaded cell. This zero is on an edge I missed. We can mark those as unshaded. That solves this one. There's only one number or one cell left to shade in. This one and two are already solved from this four. So we can fill in those dots. This two's been solved by the four, so we can put those as dots. This one's been solved, so we can put a dot there, which in turn solves this one, because we've solved the, um, the, the one has two cells. So one's going to be unshaded, one's going to be shaded in. So we know this one's shaded. Uh, same situation here. We know this one's unshaded, so the other one must be shaded. Now this uh, path of unshaded cells needs to escape. You can't shade this one in, otherwise you'd isolate this group. So that is an unshaded cell there. Um, this one over here, so I'm just kind of jumping around a little bit with these creek puzzles. It seems like there's not necessarily um, a linear progress in the beginning. You can kind of just jump around and that's okay. Um, but eventually we're, we're going to get stuck a little bit and it's going to get a little bit harder. Um, I think now where would I go? Hmm. So I think now the puzzle, the real puzzle starts here. So with Creek puzzles, a lot of the times they can get you started pretty quickly. Um, as you know, the max number clue is four. It's not like it's not like a minesweeper puzzle where you can, you know, have five, six, and seven clues. 
uh, you're, you're a little limited here. So this two clue coming back here, because it's paired with the one, we know one of these is going to be shaded. We just don't know which one, but either way, that solves this one clue. So these two can never be shaded, because if one of these was shaded, one of these up here would be, and that would break this one clue. And let's see if we could kind of use that logic elsewhere, because that's, that's, uh, that's pretty helpful. So if we think about, mm, bear with me here. So this three already has two uh, shaded in. We just need one more. So it's either going to be that one or that one. But it can't be both. And because it can't be both, one of these is going to be unshaded. And that means this three, these two, both must be shaded in. Because if one of these is a dot and one of these is a dot, then you were never going to be able to fill in three shaded cells. So these are both shaded. That solves this one. So all of those are unshaded. And now if we think about this three, the third shaded cell cannot be this one. Otherwise, it would isolate this group, right? Because remember, one of these is going to be unshaded. And because of that, it needs a path to escape. So this cannot be sh uh, shaded. It would trap it. Right, so that's unshaded. And we can use that same logic here is this can't be shaded, otherwise that would be unshaded and it would be trapped. So what that means is that's the unshaded one, that's shaded. That solves this three. And this three is solved now because we need a third shaded cell and that one must be it there. Now if we think about this cell here, this cannot be shaded in because again, the white cells need to be orthogonally connected to one another. If we shade this in, we trap all of these. So this is unshaded. And that solves this two because we've got two unshaded cells. That means the other two must be shaded in, which solves this one. And same thing here. Now this two, we need one more shaded. It can't be this one. Otherwise, we trap in all of these white cells. So this is unshaded, meaning that's the shaded cell for the two. And we're making good progress. Um, if we think about that kind of logic, we can use that elsewhere in the grid, making sure not to trap any white cells. If we think about this two, this can't be shaded because the other two would be unshaded and this would be trapped. So that tells me this cannot be shaded it has to be unshaded, which solves this too, because now we have two unshaded cells. The other two must be shaded, which in turn solves this one. And this set of white uh, cells need to escape still, so we can't block it off here. This is unshaded, meaning that one's shaded to solve the two. Now this two it can't be these pair, this pair here, because that would trap in those. So because it can't be both of these, this one has to be in. But now we don't know if it's this one or this one. Because either way, there would be a path for the white cells to escape. So we'll come back to that. Maybe we can solve that later. Um, You know what? This one can't be shaded. Because if this is shaded, this would be unshaded. And we would need a path to escape. And this, so this would have to be unshaded too, which breaks this two clue. So if we say that again, just one more time, make sure I have that right. This one clue needs one shaded cell, and it can't be this one. Otherwise, it would break this two clue, because these would both need to be unshaded. So what that tells me is this is unshaded, forcing that one to be shaded. And now this two clue needs one more shaded cell. It has one here, so this one must be the second one, which solves this two, making that unshaded. And now, where would we go? So this is interesting. If we make this one shaded, 
it would force this group of white cells to escape here, right? This would be unshaded. And what that would do is it would then force these two to be shaded. Does that break anything? I don't think so. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. So that's fine. What about this? That would be fine. Okay, let's look elsewhere. Maybe... Now this 2-1 pair means these can't be both shaded. So one of these have to be shaded, but that's not really helpful. And one of these have to be shaded to solve the one, but that's not really helpful. Well, here's a bunch of blank cells with no, no clues. So we know none of those are shaded because there's no number to indicate that they're shaded. Um, hmm. So this two, it could either be these two or those two or those two. Do I see anything wrong with any of those outcomes? I don't think so. If it's these two, this would be white, that would be shaded. Bear with me here, I feel like I've hit a little bit of a snag. See, just like I told you, creeks are real easy in the beginning, but it gets down to a certain spot where you kind of have to start using your brain a bit. And I think that's where I'm struggling today. Um, so if we think about, um, there's going to be one here or there. And I don't think either one is a problem. And that makes it tough, because now I'm going to have to look elsewhere. If we think about, hmm. thinking this might be an issue we'd escape there yeah so this this doesn't work these two because if it looks like that these two need to be unshaded right this would be forced to be unshaded and it needs to escape to connect to the rest of the group making that unshaded and what would end up happening is it would force this to be shaded And where was I going with that? Yeah, that's right. So this would be unshaded because of the one, forcing both of these to be shaded. And that blocks off this whole group. So that is a long-winded way of saying these two cells cannot be both shaded. So what that forces is since both of these can't be shaded, this one must be and then it's one of those. That solves this two, which means both of those are unshaded, which then solves this two because we have two unshaded cells, we need two shaded cells, making that one shaded. This group here must escape this way, um, and then that forces this one to be shaded to solve this two, which solves this one, which solves this two, which solves this two, which solves this two, and now we look at this cell. If I block off or if I shade this one, basically cuts the puzzle in half, right? You could kind of imagine this mouse cutting it in half. The top half would be disconnected from the bottom half. So this is our connection point, meaning this is the last cell here. It must be shaded to resolve the one clue. And there you have it. That is a creek puzzle. Lots of fun. I really like it. Um, any type of puzzle where you're you're connecting a single orthogonally connected group of cells usually is is a fun time for me so hopefully you guys liked it as well if you did please leave a comment give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this in the future thanks everyone have a good day